Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I am sharing my favorites for the month of July. And I do wanna say that toward the end of July, mostly the last two weeks of July, I didn't wear a ton of makeup. So for that reason, I don't have a ton to share with you, but I do have products that I definitely reached for all the time whenever I did wear makeup. This was like my go-to makeup look. We're gonna go ahead and get started, and the first product is an eyebrow product. Now, I've never tried an eyebrow primer before until this one, and I have to say I am absolutely in love with this product so much so that I've actually misplaced this actual product I'm sure it's like in my vanity or around my vanity somewhere but I've misplaced it and I truly miss it so I need to go back to Ulta and just buy like two more and just be done and keep them in my stash it is the NYX proof it waterproof eyebrow primer so it looks like this and it retails for about $4.99 to $5.99 more or less and basically what you do is you just put this on your brows before applying your brow powder it really just keeps those brows tamed and in place and waterproof and sweat resistant and all kinds of resistant so it's just really good and especially for someone like me who's always messing with my eyebrows my eyelashes like I'm always messing with my eye area whether it's like moving my bangs if I have my hair down or just you know kind of doing this little habit I don't know it's really weird but this product works so if you're looking for something to really keep your eyebrows in place and keep that color in place without budging this is a really good product to look into so there it is right there the next product is one that I didn't expect to a purchase until possibly winter and b fall in love with so it is the Lorac Pro 2 palette I caved during the 4th of July weekend and I'm so glad that I did because I really love this palette. The funny thing is I really don't reach for my Lorac Pro the first edition that they had or the first palette that they came out with but for some reason I am loving this one. It's so easy to use. The colors are beautiful. Of course the quality is amazing in true Lorac fashion. So I really love the shades from Chrome this way and Coco. So these two right here and then these three I don't foresee using until maybe possibly winter time but all the other shades I really love. So this is a great palette if you've been contemplating I would highly recommend it. I think it's just beautiful. I love the colors in there. Sticking with eyeshadows the only other eyeshadows that I wore besides the Lorac Pro 2 palette are my Morph or Morphe eyeshadows. Now I do have a video that is completely dedicated to these eyeshadows. So if you want to hear a more in-depth review or you want to see swatches, I will link that video down below in the description box and you can hear all about it. But really briefly, these are what the shadows look like. Whoa, one just fell. They are not sticking to my little magnet here, my MAC palette, but that's probably because maybe, I don't know if it's the palette or I need to put magnets on them. Either way, Regardless of that, these shadows are just amazing. The quality is great. They blend out great. They're very pigmented. I'm wearing them on my eyes today, and I really, really like them. So I would highly recommend them. If you want to hear more about them, check that video out. And we're going to go ahead and move on to lips. All right, so for lipsticks, there's only really two that I wore back and forth. If it wasn't one, it was usually the other. So the first one is a neutral color. It's from Estee Lauder, and this one is in the shade Pinkberry. My friend Carol gave me this for my birthday as part of my birthday gift. So it looks like this. It's just a very, very neutral, kind of like a pink mauve kind of color. Very, very moisturizing on the lips and hydrating and it just feels so good. So this is Pinkberry right there. Just a great neutral lip color that just goes with every single look. So love that. Okay, now when I wasn't wearing that one and I wanted a pop of color because you guys know that I love my bold lips, it was the Estee Lauder Violet Crush Lipstick. This is a matte, and unfortunately, this one was limited edition. However, so if you have a CCO nearby, check there, or if you have a friend or family member who has access to it, have them hunt it down for you, because I'm telling you, this color is amazing. I actually wish I would have bought two of them because it's so unique to what I have, and it's just so stinking beautiful. So I did wear this color in my vlog. If you look at the last vlog video that I uploaded. If you watch it from when we are at the CCO to the end, this is what I'm wearing on my lips. And I think I do have a picture of me wearing this on Instagram as well. I'm not too sure, but check there. So this is what Violet Crush looks like. And I swear I thought I had a dupe, but I don't. It's so different. It has like a nice mix of, I, I wanna say like a fuchsia and a purple. It's just so different and so beautiful. 
and so vibrant and bold on the lips. So this one again is Violet Crush. All right, up next is foundation. Whenever I did wear foundation, this is pretty much all I wore. It is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. My shade, I think, is in the shade 30, I believe. And it's oil-free, water-resistant, really, really good if you're like in an area like mine where you have like crazy high temperatures. I just really love this foundation for the summer. This one is probably one of my top five favorite foundations. It works every summer. A little bit goes a long way. It gives you nice full coverage. It is matte. I would say if you have dry skin, this probably isn't for you, but if you have more normal to oily skin, combination skin, you're gonna love this foundation. It really, really just keeps you nice and matte. It gives you the great coverage that I always look for. And it's perfect for traveling because it's small and portable. It's not breakable. Just a really, really great foundation. So this again is the Matte Velvet Plus from Makeup Forever. Next up is a blush. This one is one that's been in my collection for quite a while. So they don't sell this anymore, but I'm sure several of you have this in your collection. It is from Milani, and this one is in the shade Luminous. I actually wish they wouldn't have discontinued this color because the new one, Luminoso, pulls a lot more peach and the finish is different. So I really wish they would have kept this color, but what do you do? I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. Anyway, this is what it looks like right here. It is kind of like a pinky coral color. It has a really strong gold sheen finish to it. So when I wear this blush, I totally skip highlighter unless you want to go overboard, then you can, but just be forewarned. That's probably not going to be a really good look because it does have a really, really strong gold finish to it. So it gives you a nice subtle pop of color. It's not like super, super pigmented. Um, I definitely have to build this one up, but the finish is so beautiful on it. I just love that you're getting that gold finish with a blush. So it's kind of like a two-in-one product. So there it is there. Again, they don't sell these like in stores, but you can probably check Milani's website or Amazon, eBay, or Cherry Culture. So that is the shade Luminous. Okay, moving on to bronzer and highlight. This one has just been it for me. It works, and it is the It Cosmetics CC Plus Radiance Ombre Bronzer. So it looks like this and it's basically a bronzer going into a highlight. I will say I was a little iffy about this product just because it looks like there's a ton of shimmer in here. And while I love like a really strong sheen or shimmer like on my highlight area, I don't want that for bronzer. And so for that reason, I was really iffy. But it seems to work out just perfectly great. It's a great neutral shade bronzer. I don't feel like it leans too orange, too red, too warm. It's just a really nice bronzer. And then, of course, you're getting a really fantastic highlight with this one. It's kind of like that champagne gold kind of color. Just a really, really nice two-in-one product. So I've been very, very happy with this one during the month of July, and I actually have to force myself to use another bronzer and another highlight because this is pretty much all I reach for. So that will do it for my July favorites. I hope that you enjoyed that. And as always, if you have favorites that you were loving last month, please share with all of us down below in the comment section. And if you look down below in the description box, you can find out what I'm wearing on my nails, what's on my face, as well as where you can find me in social media. I am on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. So have a great day or night. Thank you so much for watching and all your support. I am truly grateful and I will see you in the next video. Bye.